Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. Guys, I want to talk you through something which has actually been a really cool change from the patch that went live uh, yesterday. So I'm on the test server here. I'm going to show you some stuff around one of the new blessing changes. And honestly, for me, it's an absolute game changer, especially for people that are either earlier game to mid game, progressing through Fire Knight, or people that are actually mid to late game or even end game trying to get through Sintranos. So for me, this is actually a real positive change. I say positive change. The previous blessing was actually kind of good, but this one is going to help a lot of players. So we are talking about the change that has come into faultless defense. Uh, so we've got here, whenever an enemy attacks an ally under an increased defense buff placed by this champion. So this, this champion places the increased defense to other people in his team. Uh, whenever anyone is attacked by that increased defense buff, there is an amount of damage reflected back. This is weak source, okay, in terms of damage. It doesn't do any damage. The reflect back is useless. The fact is, when you've got increased defense on you, you take less damage. And then when you reflect damage back, it goes through their um, defense modifiers and you end up doing basically no damage. So that by itself is kind of useless. But even at one star, you reflect damage back. 3%. So you could literally have a one star rare with this um, ability on as long as they've got increased defense for your team and you're going to hit the Fire Knight for five tanks of shield. And I was looking through just now. So I quite like using this filtering system now in raid. I'm throwing my vaults in there as well. If I'm trying to like explore, I've got most champions, so it kind of works well for me. But if I'm trying to explore who could this be useful for? Well, I was starting to say, well, who does, okay, baby version, increased defense. Yeah, and you start to look through and it's like, okay, well, are there any that do it for your whole team? Next thing I did was, well, has anyone got reflect damage as well? And this is pretty interesting. So I don't have a, a soul for this guy. And I was trying to find one on the test server to use him at, uh, to, to try and use him and show you guys. But the warden, the emo kid who's never come out of a vault in his life because he's got weak source weaken for an epic. Hello, uh, any chance we can update this Raid Shadow Legends? But he does now have decreased attack. Again, his weak one. I don't know why he's got all these weak buffs and debuffs. He's an epic. Anyway, doesn't matter. If you've got a one-star soul on this guy and you were trying to get through like Sintranos levels or early, um, early to mid finite and he's like level 40 or whatever, he could put increased defense on your whole team. That's five stacks of shield when you get hit. And then probably not fast enough to put both of these things on before, but you could do. But even if you're not, next time he comes around, he's going to put reflect damage on your team. So you could cycle the two and always do five hits of, of shield into the finite. He becomes pretty damn useful for early game players for finite. So that was an interesting one. I then looked at the same and thought, is there anyone who's got big version, increased defense and, and reflect? Burgess doesn't count. He's not doing it for your whole team. Um, and then we were looking at, is there any other kind of like ways that this work? Not really. So in terms of the increased defense, I was then thinking, well, who might do some other useful things? Like, for instance, um, I don't know, something like putting decreased speed on the boss as well. So firstly, you get your five chunks of um, shield knocked off, but also we then get a decreased speed put on finite. So once you do break that shield, it's much easier to keep it down. And there's a host of them. So you've got someone like Stoltus here who's super good for it because he's going to be doing one tons of damage, loads of wave control. Yeah. He's also got turn meter control on his A1. If you're not doing hard finite, we're talking normal here. But for Sintranos, that's really good. And then he's got increased defense and decreased speed on his A3 as well. So he's just got a ton going on, which is going to help you for, for finite. I, I think like, it becomes pretty damn valuable. Someone like Lightsworn, who was already half decent for Finite, triple hitter, got a bit of turn meter control on his A1. It's a, it could do with this being a bit more, honestly, but it's not terrible. He's also got decreased speed on his A2, and he's got the revive on death plus increased defense. So if you take a hit and you actually go down, firstly, you still get those five ticks of shield damage done, but also anyone who does die pops back up. So this guy becomes super high value for a lower level player that is struggling with this fight. You know, five ticks of shield here, triple hit here, 
Um, turn meter drop once you've got that shield down. Decrease speed to keep the shield down easier. Feels to me like he becomes way higher value with this one star blessing. It's all he needs. One star blessing to make this work. Almost the same here with Morsley and Mage. Increased defense. Um, he's also giving you block debuff so that when you do take a hit, you're not going to get decreased speed on you. He's got a decreased speed A1. Okay, it's 50% chance to land. You wouldn't normally build accuracy with this dude, but I think you would if you were building him for Fire Knight. He's also giving you a cleanse and heals and um, some turn me to fill for wave stuff. Again, you know, let's say you're running a seer comp. Potentially, you know, seer for the waves and then he's helping you with the boss. I don't know. Anyway, definitely feels like he could add some value. Similar thing here for the shamrock. Increased defense, increased speed or revive on death depending on your setup. And then he's got decreased speed for the boss as well. So there's definitely going to be, I think, some alternative options for Fire Knight now. Um, you know, someone like Tehanarak, if you were lucky enough to have her, well, she's doing tons of stuff. You know, uh, she's got decreased speed A1. She's got the uh, increased defense and increased speed on her A3. So she could get the, the shield procs down whilst also keeping your team moving quick. And she can cleanse off debuffs. Yeah, just tons going on. So that was, that was kind of like one option I looked at. Then I was thinking, well, what else would we want? Um, so we could have something like ally attack. King Agashi comes up. Um, I don't know if King Agashi is relevant, though. Bit of turn meter drop. Just uh, one ally attack. Yeah, it's only a revive on one person, so that's probably not a relevant one. So then I looked at, you know, who does turn meter feel? And we've got uh, people like Sifi. Obviously, Sifi is super valuable anyway, but increased defense plus a turn meter feel plus increased speed. Um, you know, super, super high value if you wanted to try and use it for that. We've got Alatre on now. Do an increased defense for your team, plus a shield so you can actually take the hits. Um, and then also got a cleanse and also got the, um, I think it's on his passive yet, turn me to feel. So th there's a bunch of different options now, which I think could be pretty relevant, honestly. I think that could be pretty cool. Uh, what about Doom Screech here? Fills turn me of allies by 30% and gives them increased defense. So it's just an alternative. Whereas we've always looked at just having reflect damage as the way to try and get through that shield in the early stages this is a massive massive change honestly it really does give you an alternative option because a lot of those reflect damage dudes they've got nothing else going on whereas a ton of the increased defense champs have actually got a lot of good other utility whether it's wave based or whether it's for the boss someone like Marta, for example you're getting double bubble increased defense and counter attack that potentially becomes Providing you can take the hit from Fire Knight hard, this potentially becomes a, an alternative way to deal with Fire Knight hard, I think. The trouble is he hits really hard on Fire Knight hard 10. So unless you're throwing in big shields as well, or yeah, what else would you be able to do? You'd have to be able to shield the damage pretty well, but five stacks of shield gone. If we're talking Fire Knight normal mode, even up to stage 25, five ticks of the shield gone plus all of your counter attack hits from your team, I think the shield never comes. I think the shield's obliterated with that. So I guess let's let's go past the theory and actually put this to the test. So I'm going to throw Marta in now with this Faultless Defense Mastery. Uh, she is faster than Finite 10. I'm going Finite 10 here, the hardest content in the game. And obviously everything that I'm doing here, you scale backwards depending on where you're at. So, uh, and Marta, yeah, I mean, she's going to be top tier, but that's because I'm going against the hardest content in the game. Imagine if you're in Sintranas, you just need to find champions that do this. But Marta with counter-attack, faster than the boss. Everybody else slower than the boss. Okay, so we've got, uh, let me just talk you through what we've got. Marta in reasonable damage gear. I haven't re geared or anything. I just had reasonable damage gear anyway. She gives us drop defense on the boss, which uh, speeds up the boss part of the fight quite a lot. And she does a lot of damage on waves, which is cool as well because... It's very hard to get damage on waves whilst bringing everything else into the team. Lady Mikage here is an ally attack for the boss. Uh, we're just making sure that she saves her ally attack for when we get to that point. Because we're going to take debuffs, which is probably the hardest part of this type of strat where you're expecting to be hit, um, she does bring this ability to reduce debuffs on you, which could end up being pretty useful. I'm bringing Neldor in. Uh, he's just going to come in slower than the boss. With, I've actually got him in bolster gear just so that someone 
helps us withstand the damage because uh, you know this fire knight hard 10 hits really hard good accuracy to land his freeze a1 he's also got decreased speed which is going to help us as well Creodan, um you know one of the best epics in the game for wave control but also good against the boss in terms of freezes and a newt obviously for just damage on the boss some people say oh you always show newt in these teams yeah look, he's the best at doing this job plus he speeds up the run a ton if you don't have newt in this team does it work I think it works exactly the same if you've got someone else like another Creodan or you know, another good freeze champion. But honestly, the boss fight, part of the fight just takes so damn freaking long. Um, anyway, let's see how this goes. Is it going to do the job? Because I know this does the job on, you know, like finite normal higher levels. This is definitely a good strat to get that shield down early. And if you're early game, it's a brilliant strat, honestly, just to get some layers of shield down. Just any layers of shield down is really helpful. When you're first trying to beat finite but i'm interested to see if it does also give us a strat or an alternative choice of a strat for high level finite beat up the first wave kind of quick 30 seconds and i'm sure there's going to be ways of doing it better as well we've got big boy and newt doing some good wave damage and getting those freezes out so that we don't get hit if you get hit against these waves of enemies you just die I've left Riho up, which is not ideal, but she does take a freeze. That's good. Everyone's kind of abilities we're holding back here on wave two for the boss. So one minute in onto the boss. Before boss goes, we get our increased defense and counterattack up. It hits through our bolster and a decent amount. But if you saw there, this is after the first counterattack. Before our ally attack goes in, we've got five layers of shield gone because of that blessing. Then everyone does their ally attacks. So the shield is gone completely before we even get our first champion doing ally attack, which is pretty phenomenal. So now we get the drop defense on super early, which means we get a lot more damage. Obviously, Newt goes crazy with his skills. And then I've told Newt, use your Blessed Bash when it's available. You're... So probably if I'm tuning in even better, do take a second hit, though. Is this going to just wipe me? No, because we've still got increased defense up. Shield's gone down. Still got the increased defense up and the counter attack up. So we actually took a second hit really comfortably, honestly. Really comfortably. Obviously, Bakage increased the buff duration, which meant that we still had our counter attack up. It would be cleaner if I wasn't taking a second hit for sure. So that's something which, which I can play around with. Here comes the bash. Get another ally attack in, which should drop a ton of the turn meter bar right back to zero. And this in full speed is going to be about 2 minutes 20, I reckon. 2.20, 2.30. And that is quite quick. We're keeping the buffs up because of Mikage. Keeping the turn meter down comfortably now. Blessed Bash will be all we need to finish it off, which will be his next attack. If he even gets a chance, might just kill him anyway. Bam. New meta, honestly, this is a genuinely, this is, this is big. This is actually big because it gives us options. It definitely gives us options because we struggle with damage dealers and we struggle with being able to play this game mode without taking a hit. And I think this now enables a hit. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. But I think that's Fire Knight Hard 10. And I guess let me just show you the champs because people probably will want to see the actual builds here. Um, so Mikage, Reflex Gear. I get some bonus stats because of my area bonuses, but I'm at about 240-odd speed with area bonuses. Um, and then some defensive stats. Loot was in a big boy build. Lethal. Uh, over crit capped in fact because i just changed his gear around a little bit but under the 250 speed enough accuracy to land his stuff um who else do we have in there creodan what's my bolster dude so high hp he doesn't do a lot of damage anyway enough accuracy to land his freezes uh and then nail nail dar is it um again under 250 speed enough accuracy to land his freezes so the builds are good but i'm fighting the hardest content in the game uh if you scale it back a little bit to even finite hard six it would be tons easier to do with the same sort of effect 
So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you soon.